in this video we are going to calculate percentages mentally without using the calculator so after getting the answer we are going to use a calculator just to confirm our answer so here is our first question 15 percent of 200 so let's calculate it mentally just we are going to take easier percentages to work with so uh, first we are going to find out 10 percent of 200 so what will be 10 percent of 200 always take the decimal towards the right side of the number and then just move one slot towards left so 10 percent of 200 is 20 okay so next what we are going to find out five percent so five percent of 200 what is five percent of 200 so it's just half of 10 percent isn't it so half of 20 is 10 so what is 15 percent 15 percent is just add 10 percent and 5 percent so what is 20 plus 10 that is 30 30 is your answer now let's see first we'll convert percentage to decimal how do you convert percentage to decimal 15 percent so just divide it over 100 15 divided by 100 or just write the answer 15 take the decimal here move two slots towards left so it is 0 0.15 now check in your calculators 200 multiplied with 0 0.15 is equal to 30 isn't it okay let's move on to the next question okay so let's find out 25 percent of 300 let's find out 25 percent of 300 so here in this just go ahead do it on your own try to find the answer pause the video and you can find the answer and then recheck the video uh, for the answer so let's try to find out first we usually start with 10 percent because it's very easy to calculate with so 10 percent of 300 again take the decimal towards right uh, move one slot towards left so 10 percent of 300 is 30 and next we are going to find out 20 percent 20 percent of 300 so 20 percent of 300 20 percent is just twice the value of 10 percent isn't it so why 2 times 30 is 60 okay then we are going to find out 5% 5% 5 of 300 so 5% is just half of 10% so half of 30 is 15 and now we just want 25% so we'll add up 20% 5% isn't it so this plus is 60 plus 15 will give you 25% of 300 60 plus 15 is 75 okay let's check in our calculators 500 into 0 0.25 isn't it which is equal to 75 of course correct so we are we are doing this problems mentally so you are you're getting prepared how to do calculations very easy now let's do another question okay so let's find out 40 percent of 500 40 percent of 500 so again we'll start with 10 percent 10% of 500 10% of 500 I can take the decimal towards right and then move one slot towards left 10% of 500 is 50 isn't it now you find out 40% what will be 40% uh, of 500 it's just 4 multiplied with 
isn't it? 4 times 50 is what? 200. So that's what the answer is. Let's check in our calculator. 500 times 0 0.4. So what it will be? It's 200. So we have verified the answer. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to next question. Let's find out 24% of 80. 24% of 80. So for finding 24% of 80, again we'll do the same thing. We'll find out 10% of 80. So 10% of 80 will be just put a decimal, move one slot towards left. 10% of 80 is 8. Then we will find out 20% of 80. Isn't it? 20% of 80 is twice 2 multiplied by 10%. So 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. Yes. And then we'll find out 1% because it is very helpful for us to find out 4%. So 1% of 80. To find 1% of 80, you take the decimal towards right. Move 2 slots towards left. When you're finding 1%, you move 2 slots towards left. When you're finding 10%, you move 1 slot towards left. So 1% of 80 is 0 0.8. Now you can find out 4% easily. What will be 4%? 4, 4 multiplied with 1%. So 4 times 0 0.8. 4 times 8 is 32. So, 4 times 0 0.8 will be 3.2. Isn't it? Okay. So, now we want 24%. So, we will just add 20% plus 4%. So, that is 16 plus 3.2. That will give you 25%. So, 25% of 80 is 16 plus 3.2 which is equal to 19.2 so let's confirm it in our calculators 80 multiplied with 0 0.24 is equal to it's 19.2 perfect okay so let's move on to next question So let's find out 33% 33% of 120 Okay 33% of 120 So let's start with 10% again 10% So 120 10% of 120 is again place the decimal towards right move one slot towards left so 10% of 120 is 12 okay so then we'll find out 30% 30% 30 of 120 so 30% is just 3 multiplied with 10% so 3 times 12 is 36 okay so we found 30% now we'll find out 1% of 120 so 1% 1 is take the decimal to its right move 2 slots towards left so 1% th th of 120 is 1.2 now it's easier to find 3% 3% is just multiply 3 with 1% 3 times 1% 3 times 1.2 so it will be 326 316 so it will be 3.6 isn't it okay so now what we want we just want 30 percent and 3 percent so we want 36 and 3.6 so we'll add up 36 and 3.6 so we'll get 33 percent of 120 so that will be 36 plus 3.6 will be 39.6 now let's check in our calculators 120 times 0 0.33 is equals to 39.6 
perfect okay let's try another question so these things we are learning mentally now you are becoming an expert after calculating the percentages very easily uh, by your own so let's find out now 18 percent of 39 i think it's a bit tough question right okay it will be very easy for us after this okay so let's find out first of all let's find out 10 percent of 39 so just place a decimal towards right move one slot towards left and that is your answer 10 percent of 39 is 3.9 and now we are going to calculate 5 percent of 39 5 percent of 39 is half of 10 percent so half of 3.9 is so just take three now suppose you are having 39 dollars bill and you want to give 18 percent of tip so you're going to find out how many uh, cents how many dollars you're going to give the tip so 3.9 you just take three dollars equally so it will be 1.50 half of three dollars is 1.50 and half of 90 cents will be 45 cents isn't it so just add up you will get 1.95 so half of 10 percent is 1.95 isn't it okay so now let's calculate one percent one percent as you know is very easy place the decimal towards right move two slots towards left so it will be 0 0.39 and then we are going to calculate three percent 3% of 39 so 3% will be 3 multiplied by 1% so 3 multiplied with 0 0.39 so 3 multiplied with 0 0.39 will give you 0 0.39 multiplied with 3 9 is 20 7 3 3 is 9 11 so we'll just get 117 here you have uh, two digits after the decimal and here you don't have any decimal so only two two digits we are going to take in the answer so your answer will be 1.17 isn't it okay so now what what do we want we want 18 percent so for 18 percent you're going to take 10 percent 5 percent and 3 percent and then you're going to uh, add up all these three isn't it add up okay so when you add up 3.9 plus 3.9 plus 1.95 plus 1.17 what you will get is 7.02 okay let's check in our calculators what is 18% of 39 so 39 multiplied by 0.18 isn't it 39 multiplied by 0 0.18 so it's of course 7.02 so we confirmed our answers and you have done all the problems mentally uh, you have calculated the percentages correctly and you have confirmed also so more more tough questions on percentages will be coming so don't forget to subscribe like share with your friends and do share with your friends who are in need of uh, education who cannot afford studies so just help them out help us share with them and uh, thank you so much bye